So is that private property over there? Uh, yeah, probably, but this goes like, it goes fairly deep, like you can walk for an hour. There's like little areas where people's backyards come down or you can see the top of their fence or something like this, but for the most part you can get to some pretty secluded spots. So as long as I avoid the marked trees and keep an eye out for garbage, this should look pretty uh, wild. Yeah. What I like about it is it's perfect for the over-the-shoulder shot when uh, you and Krom are setting up to shoot pumpkin. Oh yeah. Because uh, you get these nice long views. So maybe have you and Krom sort of set up here, taking the shot. And you, you can be like leaning up against this fallen over tree. What do you think? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, we can have the gun there. And that little nut. I like this area because of the, the fallen trees offer a lot of different angles. But the thing is where like I like I like the idea of having some kind of something to lean the gun on. Well it's not really on on top of but he can be leaning against the tree up there. And then shoot it. Well, I've always I've seen lots of fire pits. I don't know how legal it is, but um, are you thinking of we've crashed? Yeah. Because he's trying to get one going. Yeah. I don't know. If, does he? Do you get it going? No, he doesn't. But uh, I'm just curious. Like here's an old fire pit, and there was one back at the top where we were. Now this is the spot. This is I think this is it where we shoot the scene. Surrounded by elevated areas, so we can either use that hill or that one of those hills. And uh, I just love the way the trees are are crisp. You know, you've got a log going down there, two logs going down there. It it really creates nice uh, composition. Now this is this is it. I like it. Good call. I mean, if I lived, uh, I might just bike here, you know, now that I know it's how close it is. Super close. I, I'm not sure how far it goes. I, I've gone that way and then turned and come back. I've never gone all the way because I've always had a car. I didn't have a car. Nice tall trees. Oh, this is perfect.
could even lean it against this. Yeah. yeah. You can make it look further back than this. What's that? Like you can make it look like this is in a different location than where it is. Well, that she's further away because it's not a tough shot. That's 100 meters from that tree. From right here to... To that tree with the blue. Not the little stump, the one in the middle. Yeah. The, uh, the tall, well, fairly tall one. It stops at about 10 foot. Not even, that's probably short. That's probably like 80. So from that fallen log there, not the log that's facing us, but that big one. Yeah, the big long one. Right? To the fire camp, you'd say is, I'd say it's about 50. 50? Yeah, 50 meters. I don't know, maybe, maybe 40. Imagine, uh, they have rifles that can shoot 10 times that distance. Yeah, I know. Oh, but it's good though. It's a good, good lineup. That's, see, that's sort of what I want to, uh, you know, that's why I'd like the two scenes to be connected, mm -hmm. because I want to use a telephoto lens just to show how far a rifle can shoot. Is, is there a way to make that look? Might oh, it looks good. far, like through the lens. That's why I thought it was 100 meters. Because yeah. now when I stand where you're standing, I can see the distance. I yeah, go, okay, that's not 100. But when I look through the lens, it looks far. Yeah, uh, this is this is really good. Thanks. Yeah, no worries. You don't really hear anything here. Yeah. Don't see anything. Yeah, it, it does feel isolated. Who would have known? Aurora New Market has so much stuff. We should work for the uh, tourism department. When I found this place, I decided if I was going to live here, I'd find a house out this way, so I could come here. And it also feels like you're really far away, but you're 10 minutes from Upper Canada more. <laughs> <laughs>